Hey Packers, how are you? Uh, bonjour, namaste, assalamu alaikum, shalom. Uh, welcome to U.S. History, and I appreciate you making the time uh, to check in here. Um, hope you had a good weekend. Hopefully it recharged your batteries. Maybe there's somebody who plays the role of mother in your life, and you were able to tell them that you loved them. And if you don't have anybody that plays the role of mother in your life, that's okay too. There's plenty of uh, people out there just like you. But um, hope you're doing well. And I had a great weekend. It was good to uh, hopefully let my wife know that she's appreciated as a mother and um, reach out to Frank's three grandmas. Tell them they're doing a great job. But that's not what we're here to talk about. But I do hope you had a good weekend. Today is um, Monday, which means if we were uh, doing school the old-fashioned way, we'd be doing a Mental Health Monday. Now, I think the biggest thing I can do for your mental health is not pile more things on your plate. Um, but if we were together, I would ask you to either, right, we'd be working on one of those four skills, focus breathing, and all kinds of videos um, that are way more creative than the one that I showed you. Gratitude, you know, just reaching out and telling somebody that you appreciate them. Reflection, kind of where am I? And that's really the focus of the do now um, is just reflecting, check in with yourself, where are you at, or physical movement, which is one of the fo focus of the district this week, trying to get people out uh, walking or riding the bike. Last Thursday, so into Friday, we looked at this poem, I Am Joaquin. Um, and then today, what we're going to do is start part one of our African-American civil rights research. We kind of primed the pump, so to speak. Uh, we began to look at what the civil rights movement meant and how it worked last week. This week, we're going to try to get more in detail. Um, just want to make sure we're on track here with the announce. Oh, went the wrong way. I don't think I'm going to restart. Sorry, folks. Uh, that was just... Good old-fashioned wrong clicking. Make sure you get the do not done. Or some people have really done a good job of just reaching out with an email. Mr. K, I'm checking in. I'm here, but I'm at work. You know, that works for me. Obviously, it wouldn't work if 160 people sent me emails. But if that's something that you need to do on any given day, that's great. Um, so this assignment that we're going to get today, just the research part, is going to be due Tuesday at midnight. So you have two days to do this thing we're going to talk about. Um, it's just part one of this larger assignment. Uh, late work is better than, than no work. And we are moving quickly towards uh, finals, right? End of May. So we'll have all through May schoolwork and finals. And then uh, really June, the you could have no responsibilities in June as a sophomore if you finish your finals in May like your grades and are all caught up. That's kind of the big carrot, um, is that your school year will be shorter um, because of this situation that we find ourselves in if you're on track, right? So you just got to kind of know where you're at. If you're falling behind and you need more help, right? We've kind of carved out a few days in June to do that. Um, thoughts for the day one, I changed my own bike tire. Feel pretty good about that. Uh, Usually I would, uh, I pop my tire on a bike ride. Usually I would have uh, maybe taken it in, but um, sat down, watched a couple of YouTube videos, learned how to change my own bike tire. I'm not learning how to bake bread. That's a big quarantine thing with old people like me. I love bread, but I'm not going to learn how to make it. Uh, but I did change my own bike tire. And that's in honor of movement for Men's Health Monday and the get out and walk, get out and bike that our district is putting on this week. Is Animal Crossing big with sophomore Packers. I'm curious. Hopefully you'll reach out with uh, some sort of message, remind, Schoology. Just let me know your opinions on that. I'm curious. I haven't downloaded it, and I'm afraid that if I do, I will do not enough work. But I'm curious to know if Animal Crossing is big with Packers. And then this question we're going to come back to, we're going to revisit. And actually, this might be something like an assessment question. So I want you to start thinking about this. I'm not making any promises, but this is just bubbled up in my head, and I want you to think about this. How is our current climate crisis? Some people are like, oh, yeah, that's right, the climate, right? Everybody's saying COVID, COVID, COVID. But the uh, climate crisis is still a real thing. 
How is that similar to or different than these civil rights movements that we're going to take a look at? So Thursday's assignment, here's what I'll say, folks. I know it was a challenge, and some people, we, we went two directions. We dug in and we did the best we could with what was a really long, hard poem. And some of us were like, long, hard poem, and kind of tried to take a back door or a shortcut, right? And you just have to know that's where we're at. That's where you're at. But we need to academically be at a place where we say, all right, Keneally brought on a challenge. I'm going to do my best. Uh, because that's what I'm asking you to do. I'm not asking you to get everything right. I'm not asking you to quick hit up your friend and say, hey, can you screenshot me? What you put on for your things? Just give it your best bet, right? So it was a poem um, about what it meant for this guy, Corky Gonzalez, to be a Chicano uh, Mexican-American in the United States in the 60s and 70s. This was a student submission. I didn't have a chance to get this student's permission, so I'm not going to use his or her name. But love everything about this person's assignment. So the suburbs of bigotry. What does that even mean? I'm not even sure. I think he offered uh, a good idea, but we don't know for sure. And then this phrase, I refused to be absorbed. It was a great one. So notice... I don't care if the student put down the right answer. I care that he recognized what it was and was confusing. So what is the thesis of this poem, I asked? He said that, um, sorry, I gave it away. It's a, it's a male student. His culture, the author's culture, will stay strong even though his culture has gone through hardships. All right, so that's his idea. That's what this poem is about, about how we will not give in. Um, and then this is the key. And what I like about it is I know he got to the end because at the end, the poem ends very hopefully as just gut-wrenching negative it is about the racism and the, the effect on your mind if everyone you see thinks you are not good and how that can have a really long-term impact on your view of yourself. Um, and that's been psychologically proven, right? This This sort of negative impact of racism. It's, it's not a matter of um, staying positive when um, so many people tell you time and time again negative things. Anyways, this is how it ends. I will endure, right? So there's this hope to it. Um, and that's the power of this poem. So really, this was a challenge where I saw folks segregate themselves into two groups um, who brought on the challenge and said, I'm going to try my best. And students who kind of said, ooh, this is hard. I don't know. Um, and so we want to just say, where do you find yourself? Where do you want to find yourself? Okay. Um, so this week's assignment is going to be kind of split into chunks. We're going to do things a little bit differently um, because we're studying civil rights. How do you study civil rights in, in two and a half, three weeks? We could spend two and a half, three weeks just on the Selma March, one of Dr. King's big protests. But of course, civil rights are not just about African-Americans. So how do we cover all these things? This is where we're going to try to do it, at least this week. Um, we're going to research one part of the African-American civil rights uh, experience, but you will choose what part. Wednesday and Thursday, not Monday or Tuesday, but Wednesday and Thursday, you'll prove to me what it is um, that you learned. And then on Friday, we'll get some feedback, hopefully, and um, improve it. So... This is what your assignment um, this week, or sorry, Monday and Tuesday is what it's going to look like. Um, just want to show you so you, you, it's easier to navigate. So we've got the uh, do now, we've got the agenda, and in the practice and assignments is just uh, this part of it. I can't, I'm going to read this. I don't care. I can't stress this enough. You're only responsible for one source. Now, feel free to scroll down and explore a bunch of them. And I will tell you that if you're planning on taking an IB diploma program course, in the humanities at least, um, you should have an optional second source. Even if that source is just a Wikipedia page. I'm not wild about that, but I want you to have two sources so we can begin to triangulate key IB skill. What does this source have? What does this source not have? And you're going to just write down the who, what, when, where, why, the five W's of one of these sources. But I do want you to invest some time in figuring out what is the source. 
um, if reading is hard for you, a supported reading level is great, or a podcast, right, or a video, right? Those are important as well. But we have these different categories, Martin Luther King, Malcolm X, the Black Panther Party, which is totally misunderstood by most Americans, the Little Rock Nine, which we looked at a little bit, the Freedom Riders, which are about the gutsiest. You want to just watch the documentary? Pull that up on YouTube. That's fine with me. Um, uh, gutsy. Oh, geez. Gut-wrenching story. Or if you really want to get into it, if you really want to dig deep, um, this, this section. But what you're going to do is you're going to choose one of these, okay, at the level that's right for you, on the topic that's right for you, right? So if you think Martin Luther King is boring because you learn about him every year, don't do it, right? Um, so I want you to choose one of these sources for Monday and Tuesday's work and read it or watch it or whatever it is, and then fill out these um, notes. Who was involved? What is the issue? These sorts of things. Okay. Now, what we're going to do from there on Tuesday, sorry, Wednesday, Thursday, if you want to know where we're going with this, if you're one of those people that needs to know, what am I going to do with this? You're going to choose one of these four research activities. One, and you're going to use the research that you did on Monday, Tuesday to do this. But don't think about this if you don't like big picture stuff. This is where we're headed, choosing one of these things. But that's not what we're focused on today. Today what we're focused on, tomorrow what we're focused on, choosing one of these topics, okay, and one of these sources and answering the who, what, when, where, why. Challenge yourself um, with a second source, if that's where you're at academically, and choose one that's right for you. If reading is hard, choose a supported, um, or one where you'll be able to listen. Cooperate with that. So, um, again, trying to be respectful with your time, 12 minutes, not great, but... Um, Make sure you go back and do that I Am Joaquin one if you didn't from last week. Make sure you understand that we're just researching and taking the notes over the next two days. Give me some feedback on Animal Crossing. But probably, not probably, absolutely the most important, take care of your mental health, whatever that means. Care about you. Miss you. Hope you're doing well. Reach out if you need any help.